going back to the jobs, I wanted to pick up on one thing you said that um, a negative income tax or a UBI, as I propose, still would have an effective marginal tax rate. Absolutely, it would. So the, the, scheme, the scheme that I've roughly put together for Australia, $12,000 per year or $1,000 a month, uh, would then be dragged back at 30%, 30% from the get-go, right? So abolishing the uh, tax-free threshold effectively and putting in a 30%. So it's true, it has a 30% disincentive to work. The current system has a 70%. 30 is less than 70. That is good. I, I readily admit that there's still an effective marginal tax rate. I don't think any proponent of UBI or NIT has doubted that. Uh, but if we could decrease the effective marginal tax rate, we increase the incentive to get a job, and if we're going back to my earlier argument, made more jobs available to low-skilled workers or low-productivity workers, more jobs would exist, the incentive to take it would be higher, and I think that would do more to address poverty than either keeping the current system or introducing a big UBI, in which case then I'm suddenly switching sides and taking Gigi's side. 